Hi, it's me, Grumpy Old Crafter, and I'm just going to. I just realised I've got a lot of mascara under my eye. That's nice. Uh, <coughs> so I'm. I'm here to just chat about what is happening this week with me and YouTube. So recently, while I've been ill. Um, I'm not doing much. I've watched a hell of a lot of YouTubes and I'm really into mixed media journaling at the minute and um, just blows my mind all the techniques and all the playing that you can do and everything like that. Um, and I'm starting a couple of uh, mixed media journaling and I've also joined um, a workshop with Jenny Bell on um, creative life journaling or something like that it's called. I'll put the descriptions down below. Um, uh, not the description, the uh, what's it called? The web link. <laughs> oh excuse me I'm trying not to burp. <laughs> oh well hey ho. Um, yeah, so, and I've got a DT to do for Genevieve Designs, and I thought, hmm, uh, why don't I mix the two to start off with? And I'm going to be doing a Stack the Pages um, little art journaling booklet. It's going to be a bit different from your usual mini album. Um, and I thought you might like to join me, see me and I'm doing it and um, exploring it all for the first time. Um, well, not the first time because I have done some mixed media, but uh, this is a new kind of thing to me, journaling. And I thought, hmm, I wonder if anybody else has thought about trying it and dive in with me. So, um, what this will involve is jelly printing as well. So I'm just going to, I've got myself a little list here um, that I'm trying to stand up and read. And uh, I'm just going to, I'll list them as I'm, as I'm either editing or I'll list them in the description box. But uh, what you will need if you want to join along with the Stat the Pages is the PDF from Stat, uh, the Stat the Pages from Genevieve Designs on Etsy and I will link that down below. But I will talk about other alternatives for those who don't particularly find an interest in PDFs and printing and you might not have a printer, blah 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 and also with the jelly plates not everybody has a jelly plate so we'll go through some other techniques that you could use um, to decorate your little album with. I'm going to be using mixed media thing. Oh, I've put them under here to flatten them out. I'll uh, just give you a quick flash because I've already done that video and I shall be using one or two of those to use as cover um, as covers for my little journaling album and also for you know the envelopes and things that you some of the ephemera ephema or what some of the bits that you get in it I can never say that word ephemera that's it um so if you're going to go and get stack the pages um brilliant you'll need that if not you're going to need um, some cardstock maybe watercolour card uh, mixed media paper uh, transfer paper even whatever takes your fancy uh, what you like to create on you'll also need scissors distress ink glue or double sided tape a ruler a bone folder, 
even if you are using the PDF, you'll still need cardstock, obviously, to print it off on. Um, I usually do it on 220, print it out on that. Um, 220. I don't think it's the same in America as it is over here, because everybody says £120 over there, and I don't don't think it is that. It's like 250 something or other. Oh, I don't know what it is, but I don't. I've got a feeling it's not the same over here as it is in America or abroad. Excuse me. Uh, you'll need your scoreboard, and I'll be doing some closures, and I will be using magnets. So those are optional. You might, you know, can't be bothered getting magnets. Well, don't get them. It's not a problem. Uh, I'll be using some twine or ribbon to. Um, use as a fastening round the book or I will be using some sort of twine or ribbon and I might even use the fastening I haven't decided on that bit yet because I haven't got to that bit and for the jelly printing you'll need your jelly, pr your jelly plate, a brayer, acrylic paints or sprays, stencils, stamps, stack a copy paper if you're doing the jelly plate um, now if you haven't got a jelly plate and you fancy it but it's too expensive there are a lot of good um, recipes on YouTube to make your own jelly plate it doesn't last forever like the jelly plate does and you've got to keep it in your fridge that's the only downside to it uh, now you might be thinking oh I can't do that I haven't got a jelly plate there's loads of ways to make backgrounds um, and I will go th if you don't know them I will be going through them such as just you know getting a piece of copy paper whapping some paint down with um, your paintbrush stenciling and stamping and you can still make some lovely um, backgrounds for your book and I'll try and find a good YouTube for that and link that in down below. I'm not promising because you've got fingers and you've got eyes so you might be able to look for yourself if I haven't done it. So that's just a little intro video into my next project which will be coming up this week. Uh, I'll just update you. At the minute my health is not good in the terms of pain. I've got a lot of back pain. Um, I don't know, after I had my proctectomy, which is taking um, the last bit of your large bowel out and sewing your bum up, uh, my womb decided it had lots of room to play and decided to flip over and attach itself to my sacrum. So, obviously they were in love, they, you know, they met up, let's just bond and didn't think how much it did at me. I, I don't know actually if it is that or not. I'm getting some results on Thursday from an MRI scan. So fingers crossed for my peeps. Uh, so they're not going to be regular is what I'm saying. I'm like I am doing this Jenny Bell life journaling thing and it's all about um, it's brilliant actually, I've, I, can't, I can't stop doing it. Um, it's sort of putting your dreams or your hopes or your goals down and then using stepping, breaking it down into smaller pieces that will actually get you to where you want to go. And what I would like to do this year, crafting wise, is to get out three videos a week and a vlog. I'd love to be able to do that. Obviously, I have to be realistic. There's going to be some days when I just can't get out of bed. Uh, even I have a car who comes to get me out of bed in the morning because <laughs> I'm, I'm that bad in the morning. And I sort of perk up about one o'clock and I can do a bit. So I've done my goal planning and set it around the afternoon when I'm at my best. Um, Brief pause, funny face, burp, sorry about that. <laughs> Do you know what? I'm not fit to be on YouTube, to be honest, am I? Let's face it. And the double chin, brill. So I wish this camera just came down so that it just 
hid this chin right under there. See, I could cope with that face. It's fat, but it's not got a chin. Well, it has got a chin, but not five. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, and my personal goal, which I've already started, is to go out by myself. And I managed to do that today, so I'm quite pleased with myself. My husband followed me to Asda because <laughs> I only went to Asda because I needed some supplies to finish uh, my next video off and uh, some more supplies for this work journaling thing. And um, mm, yeah, I, I did want to cry. I did want to, when I got to Asda, I was sat in the car thinking, no, I don't want to leave the safety of this space. Anyway, I did it. I managed to get my chair out myself because I have um, a mobility scooter and it, I have a lift in the car that swings it out and plonks it on the floor and then I can lift it up and plonk it back in the car. So that's brilliant. That's a bit of freedom for me. Uh, and the other one is like a work type thing. I want to get myself into a position that I can run a craft store. Um, an online one obviously. Um, I just want to get myself into a position where if I am ever well enough to do it then all the planning's there and it, it's way yes off you go. So I'm uh, hoping to do that. So that's me for now and I'll see you in the next door. In, in the next door? In the next door. Where's that come from? Oh my lord. Drugs. Medication drugs, not the old silly drugs. Uh, Neil keeps saying that to people. I'll say it's my drugs. <laughs> Neil said the, the prescribed medication. He thinks everybody will think I'm on cocaine or something. I don't know what he thinks. I, I'm just, shall I just show you my t-shirt? It's my Dis Disney Maleficent one. Uh, and I digress. But if you watch me regularly you'll know that's what I do uh, yeah so that's about it and I wish I had a saying really can you think of a saying to the end because I love Elaine McInnes where she goes craft like a duck I'd love a saying like that to leave you with craft like a grumpy old git <laughs> right I'm going now because I'm being silly <laughs>